Good morning, boys and girls. It's Miss Lover, and today I'm going to be doing a word problem for our Word Problem Friday. And we have the same learning target and success criteria as last week, but I'm going to go ahead and review it one more time for you all. So our learning target is I can solve word problems using multiplication and division. And our success criteria, what you need to be successful is you are successful when you can represent the problem with a model or drawing a picture, um, using a letter to represent the unknown, choosing the correct operation, and remember operation is add, subtract, multiply, or divide, and then you're going to solve the problem and explain why your answer makes sense. Let's go on to the word problem for today. All right, so the word problem reads, Whaley and two friends went to the movies. Whaley bought all three tickets that were $9 each. Her friends bought two buckets of popcorn for $3 each and three sodas for $4 each. How much more money did Whaley spend than her friends? Well, remember when we're working on word problems, we always want to circle and underline the important information first. So right off the bat, I see that we have Whaley and two friends, which I know is three people total. So we have three people. We have Whaley and two friends. One friend, two friends. So there's three people all together. And they went to the movies. So Whaley bought, she bought three tickets that were $9 each. Each is important. So that way we know that every ticket costs $9. Not that she spent $9 all together, but she spent $9 on one ticket, $9 on the second ticket, and $9 on the third ticket. Her friends bought two buckets of popcorn for $3 each. Here's that word each again. And three sodas for $4 each. And then our question is, how much more money did Whaley spend than her friends? All right, so let's start off with the first step. Well, let's see how much Whaley spent. So Whaley is a person who bought three tickets that were $9 each. So if you wanna draw your tickets out, you can draw little rectangles and put $9 inside, just like this. So here's my model, here's my picture. All right, so now we can do our multiplication problem for Whaley. So Whaley bought three tickets, so three tickets, that cost $9 each. And remember that each means to multiply or divide. And in this case, we're going to multiply. So we have three tickets that were $9 each, and that's gonna equal our total for tickets. So I'm gonna put T for tickets. So if you do three times nine, or if you add up nine plus nine plus nine, you will get your answer of 27. So we have T equals $27. So Whaley spent $27. Okay, so we're done with this information. We've used all that, we've used the three people. I'm gonna use a different color this time for her friends. So let's do the second step of her friends. Okay, so her friends bought two buckets of popcorn. So let's draw some buckets of popcorn. There's one bucket, here's two buckets. Two buckets of popcorn for $3 each. So here's $3, here's $3. And then they also bought three sodas. One soda, two sodas, three sodas for $4 each. So each soda was $4. So we have to figure out how much did her friends spend. So let's see. If we do the popcorn first, we'll have two buckets of popcorn so two popcorn times three dollars each is what? Three six. It's six dollars. And now let's do the sodas. There are three sodas. And they each cost four dollars. So let's see. Four eight, 12. So they spent $12 on soda. But how much did they spend together? How much did the friends spend? 
Well, when we want to figure out what, how much the friends have spent, we would take their totals and add them together. So we would take the total of popcorn, which was $6, and I'm going to put sodas on top. So we have six plus two is eight. And then we have one plus nothing is one. So the friends spent $18. But did I answer my question yet? Nope, I did not answer my question yet. It says, how much more did Whaley spend than her friends? Well, remember, how much more means to do the opposite. We want to subtract for this one. So we have to see how much Whaley spent and how much her friends spent and what's the difference between that. So let's take Whaley's total, which was $27. Whaley spent $27 and her friends spent 18. So we're taking the total answer for both. So we're gonna take $27 minus $18 to see how much more Whaley spent. Okay, well seven take away eight, I can't do. I have to regroup. So I'm gonna go to my neighbor. This becomes a one and now this is 17. So 17 take away eight is nine. And one take away one is zero. And then bring down your unit, which for us is dollars. So we have our answer, $9. So now the last thing we have to do is write our statement. Whaley spent $9, nine, let's do $9 more than her friends. And you're all done. All right, guys, this was just a refresher on how to do a multi-step word problem that has um, multiple different operations. If y'all have any questions, please just email me, send me a message on Google, and I'll do my best to help y'all out. Bye.